All right. I am so excited to have you on the program today. I'm here with Natasha Clay Hill. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yes, sir. That's she true. is a playwright. Uh, oh, she writes plays. Uh, she's a producer, director. You do a little bit of it all. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. And you know, today we're here because I want to talk to you about your uh, upcoming play called what? The Cover Up. The Cover Up. Oh, wow. It's a lot of cover-up going yes. on. <laughs> you know, what is the cover-up is all about? What is it about? The cover-up is basically dealing with different things that we cover up as individuals. Things that we cover up as yes. individuals. Yes, okay. many people are hurting, they're suffering, um, some people are dying spiritually, mm -hmm. but we cover up with our careers, with our titles, with our jobs, mm -hmm. with our money, with our possessions. We cover up so that people can't really see the hurt or whatever it is that we're going through. Okay, okay. And so that's what this play is all about. Okay, yes. now, now, uh, you know, when, when, you, when you say that, I think about the fact that uh, uh, what happened to us because we do cover up? What's the end result? Well, I would like to say, as, well, especially in the church. In the okay, church, okay. Especially okay. in the church. A lot of people can't be transparent. Okay. In the church, you would think that the church is a hospital, is where people go to be healed, is where people go to be helped and encouraged. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, in some churches, not all, in some churches, that's where you find the most judgmental and critical people. Okay. And some of that is because they themselves are suffering and going through. Uh -huh. So to project that off uh -huh. on everybody yeah. else, they have everybody else looking at what Sister Sally is going through. Uh -huh. Then you're not looking at what I'm going through. Okay, okay, so, so so we create this image of being perfect. We create the image of being perfect. I tell you, so, and we cover up. We cover up our flaws. We no. cover up our flaws. And, 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 that's, and that's really dangerous because we, we never come into what God really wants us to be and who he wants us to be. Right. So, so who can we allow to see who we are then? Well, the main the character in the play, the cover up, she it cries out a lot to God. Oh, okay. You know, um... Even though she has spiritual people in her family, she even covers it up and hides that from them. Okay. So, you know, she does go to the Heavenly Father and pray to Him and ask Him, you know, to strengthen her, encourage her. But uh, sometimes you forget that God put people in our lives to help us. Okay. okay. So, you know, I would like to say that's a misconception of what the enemy does. Okay. Is he would take our own, use our own mind and pervert our own thinking about our own situation. Okay. Whereas, you know, he would make you think people would laugh at you or, example, you know, have you ever known somebody that's, that's, that's in the church, they're strong? Mm -hmm. Everybody goes to Brother John for prayer. Uh -huh. You because know, Brother John is strong, he's anointed, he can get a prayer through. Yeah. But Brother John himself could be going through something, but because of worrying about the criticism of people, uh, okay. he won't allow them to see, you know, when well, I'm struggling with my own thing. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to help people with. You, If you keep something covered up, it can't get healed. You okay. keep covered up, you can't get delivered, you can't be set free. So you got to find the people or the, or the route to go. Mm -hmm. Now tell us, when is this play going to be? It's going to be on July the 14th. Okay, July, July the 14th. July 14th, 2018 okay. at uh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. At Resurrection Life Ministries okay. at 3035 East Holmes Road. Okay. Doors open up at 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. And give us that again, the address and again. 3035 East Holmes Road. Okay. Okay. And uh, the church? Resurrection Life Ministry. Now, now, do you have a uh, telephone number that uh, can they call? They can call for more information. Yes, sir. That's 901 okay. 515 Okay. Now, uh, Natasha, I know you've been involved with so many plays even in the past. God had gifted you in this area. Uh, uh, what are the results of many of your plays when you do your plays? What you see as a result? We've had some amazing results, and I give God all the glory. Praise Because God. everything that we do with our productions is we point people to God. That's why. We never try to point people to ourselves. Okay. You know, never try to point people to me and think, oh, Natasha, she's such a anointed, wise playwright. Mm -hmm. Because I realize that I can't do anything without God. That's why. Um, I started writing plays out of inspiration mm -hmm. that God gave me. Okay. And matter of fact, each play that I write is by inspiration. I don't just sit up and think of a subject and be like, 
I'm gonna write a play about it. Okay. Usually, you know, I'm in my prayer time, or even if I'm just sitting, I could be watching TV, I could mm -hmm. be driving down the street, mm -hmm. and I hear the Holy Spirit say something to mm -hmm. me. And then I start to listen, and then I kind of start praying about it, mm -hmm. like, okay, God revealed to me, what is this? Mm -hmm. And He ends up giving me the message That's in the ministry. So That's I wonderful. sit down and write it out. That's beautiful. Now, for those who just tuned in, we're talking to uh, Natasha. Clay Hill about the play that's coming up, the soon uh, upcoming play called Cover Up. And uh, you want to definitely get together and, and get your people from the church or friends to come and see this play. I mean, I, I've been to the Orpheum and other places seeing plays, and, and I tell you, I know this play is going to be no different, you know, than any other play. And we know we got some talented people in this city. Yes. And uh, we're going to interview one of your uh, actresses. Uh, here shortly and I just want to take a break right now and we're gonna come back and talk to we're gonna bring on the set and we're gonna to talk back. to her and yourself okay already all right we back with Miss Erica Ho Ho yes Ho okay I'm not good with language sometimes and I have this thick tongue and I can not pronounce words but er Erica you are Natasha you said she is the the leading lady the leading lady okay <laughs> then that's what we're gonna accept you the leading lady now you play a particular character in this role, in, in this play, uh, Cover Up. Mm -hmm. And, and what's, tell us about your character. Well, my character is Paula Watson. Um, I am a character that's wearing a lot of hats. Um, okay. And I go from corporate America to some very interesting hats that okay. I can't give away, you have to come to okay. get those okay. hats. But with all of those hats that I'm wearing, I'm um, meeting the needs of everyone but myself. Okay. And we find that a lot of times, just in everyday life, women are just doing so many things mm -hmm. for other people and no one is giving and ministering and feeding into them. Yeah, and, and, and that's where this whole cover up thing mm -hmm. comes about because you're covering up things mm -hmm. because you're helping so many other people. Right. And your needs are not being met. Right. And then this caused some type of confusion. I don't want you to give away. No, the I can't give it away. I can't give it away. <laughs> but, but 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 this causes a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. And now now you said that. Why is this so important in this play that 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 that, that we deal with cover ups? Why is it so important that we deal with cover ups? Well, when we don't deal with cover ups, we see in society now we have so many um, suicides, so many things going on with uh, women, uh, depression, mental illness, when we don't deal with those things that are on the inside, that's what happens. Okay, okay. You know? and, and now, 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 Natasha, now how can, how can the church deal with these things? How can we deal with, how, how can we deal with these things? Well, I would say that the church could have some licensed counselors on staff. Okay. Because just because you're in the church and you hold a position in the church, you may not necessarily be have the knowledge on how to properly counsel someone who's suffering from mental illness or depression or things of that nature. You know, that's a very interesting point that you bring up. I, I, I think about Solomon. I love I love the Proverbs. Mm -hmm. And Solomon was so wise that great leaders from all over the world came to him and he told them how to rule their kingdom. Mm -hmm. They came to him so he so they can get his wisdom. So it's important that we find people that have this giftedness. Mm -hmm that can get us through certain things. Mm -hmm. Cause all we do, we stay around hurt. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes the cover up is exposed and, and, and it affects the whole church mm -hmm. and nobody intended for that to happen. Mm -hmm. But it's because it was never dealt with. Right, and, 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 and I would like to say that the reason why I say you should have certified educated people in those positions because if I meet with you, if I'm, let's just say for example, I'm, one, I'm a deaconess mm -hmm. and she comes to me with her problems. Well, if I'm not aware of what I say to her, I could, number one, say the wrong thing to her, and then number two, I can go and say something to somebody else in the church, mm -hmm. and then it gets out in the church, yes. and then it destroys her. Because, yeah. you know, matter of fact, I had that happen to me mm -hmm. many, many years ago. I confided in someone, and when I went to church the next Sunday, somebody came up to me, oh, I'm so sorry, and I'm like, what are you talking about? How did you know? And it was because the person that I entrusted, who was a leader in the church, she went and she. So, so I mean, so so Christian counseling is important. It's it? very important. See, it's interesting that you all say that because uh, I've been doing this. I've been doing working with young people for years, 
and 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 I've studied Christian counseling, and I have a degree in in, in psychology. And the thing is, is that it is so important that we have professional people. And but for years, it's been like, oh, no, 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 no. We got the word of God. Yeah, we got the word of God. But but just like we have milk, I mean, just like we have physical problems, and we go to the medical doctor, mm -hmm. we have mental problems that we need to go yes, sir. to I someone agree. that's trained and gifted in that area. I agree. But that's 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 beautiful. Well, give us the date, time, and all the good things about that. The Come. date is July the fourteenth, uh, two thousand and eighteen. Start time is five p.m. and the location is Resurrection Life Ministry. 30, 35 East Holmes Road. Okay, now tell us again, Miss Erica, why people need to come and see the cover up. Everyone needs to come see the cover up because we're all covering something, male or female. We have something. And one thing we do want to know is cover up doesn't mean you are sinning. Sometimes you just have emotional things in your life, hardships, something that you just want to uncover and, and allow someone to speak life to you. So we're hoping that the play, and we're praying that the play is not just a play, but it's a, it's a ministry, that we are speaking life to another Paula out there that is willing to say, you know what, let's take off all these sheets and all this makeup and all of this that we're covering up and allow God to use us. Oh, that's so beautiful. Now, hey, don't miss it. And what, give us a number they can call, by the way. 901-515-8871. Well, I thank you, Erica and Natasha, for coming on the program you, today. And, I mean, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Natasha, I can't wait to see this play. I know your mama gonna be glad. Yes, she is. Uh, her, her mother been waiting for me to come and see the play. And I just, I just thank God for you all, and I thank y'all for putting this together. And I know it's going to minister to the hearts of many people. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we want to move on to our next segment at this time.